And then I will speak to the fact about 42,000 pages. Last night, we received additional documents for the committee's review. These were documents we requested before the hearing, and we received them before the hearing just as we requested. The majority staff began re reviewing the documents as soon as they arrived and has already completed its review. There is thus absolutely no reason, uh, that's no reason to delay, delay the hearing. We have received and read every page of Judge Kavanaugh's extensive public record. This includes 12 years of his judicial service on the most important federal circuit court in the country, where he authored 307 opinions and joined hundreds more, amounting to more than 10,000 pages of judicial writing. We, all re we also received and read more than 17,000 pages of his speeches, articles, teaching materials, other documents that Judge Kavanaugh submitted with his questionnaire, the most robust questionnaire this committee has ever issued. And of course, we received and read more than 483,000 pages of documents from Judge Kavanaugh's extensive executive branch service. This is more pages than the last five Supreme Court nominees combined. In short, this committee has more materials for Judge Kavanaugh's nomination than we have had on any Supreme Court nominee in history. Senators have had more than enough time and materials to adequately assess Judge Kavanaugh's uh, qualifications, and so that's why I proceed. 